Hello folks, this is Caleb Taylor. Obviously we're not related to Nathan Taylor. Not a redneck video, Lego video I basically took over. Deep sea exploration vessel. I'm so sorry that I don't have the complete set. You know, eBay. Um, doesn't give you the whole thing. A liar. He gave it to me. Um, it should have a wreckage that you can like play around with. Um, sorry that I don't have it though. So, let's dig in. No, actually, this is a full-on playset. You have the uh, wreckage, just pretend it's in the background, even though you don't know what it looks like. Yeah, okay, so, the wreckage that is not here. A uh, shark cage. Um, an underwater vehicle, submarine, remote control. Or, actually, you, usually they just have them with the, connected with the rope. I'm not sure though. Um, one, two, three, four, five. No, wait, I thought there were only supposed to be five. Okay, I have too many sharks in here. Five sea animals and the boat itself. Figures. There's a crewman on the vessel. He has a logo on his back. Looks like he's wearing a vest or some sort of. Yeah, it's a vest with the metallic silver. Wait, no, that's just silver. That's not metallic. I don't like it. Look like it. Um, radio. Cool. Now this is my favorite guy. Where are you? Okay. The captain. He's a guy who pilots the boat, drives the boat, captains the boat. Anchor badge. Blue jacket. Red sweater. The tan pants, like slacks or something, and then the. Uh, is that navy? Yeah, that's navy blue, uh, Captain Jack. Divers. Exact same thing, except for the head pieces. No biggie. Now this, and the, the head pieces we've all gotten before. So, yeah. This is a professional diver. Actual deep sea diver. Um, but he's got like high tech gear on right now, so yeah, pretty protected, I guess. It's all for him. That's they used a space, uh, I don't have any space sets, but I've seen them on lego.com where I buy all my Legos. Um, um, yeah, it's a space deal, like a space helmet, anyways. That's enough. For the minifigures. Uh, minifigs. Uh, okay, there we go. Got enough. Animals. White shark. Gray, gray shark. Soften. And octopus. These are all very cool. Especially the white shark. Okay, so these three are cool. Those are average. I'm not gonna spend too much time on those because there's too much other stuff. Little remote control submarine, thrust on the back, the sh <laughs> radar, camera, and one arm, and looks like those are, I don't know, they're just the bottom of the submarine. Shark cage, this use the ladder pieces um, for this, so, so it'd be pretty protected from the sharks, okay. And you have uh, light, three lights, um, Unless you count the one by ones, then that's actually four. If we split that in half, that's four. Okay, and this can fold down. And you can put a guy or a girl, whoever, in there. I'm just gonna stick him in there. And yeah, and you can actually, I'm just gonna put this right here. Uh, no, I won't. I'll just wait till later. I'll just keep this out here. This is uh, my favorite vehicle, and it's also the biggest. Submarine. I like the forklift. This is like a forklift uh, to get in to make it right here. I don't think it'd be very protected. Because a shark can fit right through there and attack. Like so. But this could be fast. Yeah, I don't. No, it's up to you. I don't 
like putting sticker. Wait, did I put any sticker? No, I didn't. There should be a sticker right there, I think. And then this has a lot of articulation in it. Like the arms, every little joint on the arms articulate. The this hinge is open, and then this bubble can be, and then you can stick that in there or girl. Whoever. Oh yeah, thrust fans. I did put a sticker on this. That's a sticker right there. That's a sticker. Oh uh, yeah. Little jet water. Wait. Oh, weird vehicle. Um. Yeah. Not too much. This just gets you around underwater, I guess. Now for the big daddy. There's a dinghy at the front, so that's cool. I like this quite a quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, this is tiny, but you know it works. Orange, I like the chain, kind of resemble rope, and the little motor as a gear. Um, and uh, can't forget this dive buoy. It's a mark where you can know, set the boat is gonna be. Orange bumpers, uh, pretty good looking superstructure. Um, I'll wait. Oh, 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 yeah, the bumpers on both sides, obviously. Because if they weren't, they'd just be weird. I'll fix that later. I broke the chain off the bumper on accident, not on purpose. You have controls here for this winch, and uh, yeah, raise it up and down. So that's cool. Um, and you got a lot of real space. Well, not real, but you have a lot of space to walk around. Okay, so let's take a look up here. Um, smokestacks, radar. I guess this is radar. Some sort of dome satellite. This is like a voice piece. Um, to let the crewmen know what's going on, the captain in the light post. To get in, take this off. Simple. You have a lot and lot and lots and lots and controls in there. Whoa, all the way to that wall. And you have to have a coffee mug. Apparently, that's how they live. And you take this off. And inside. Bit. So this is a very cool set, and thank you for guys for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. See you next time. Bye.